The Pope's urgent appeal to the Church, a Church that listens to the cry of the world. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. We don't need a sedentary, defeatist Church, but one that listens to the cry of the world, and that isn't afraid to get its hands dirty in serving the Lord, the Pope emphasized in his homily on October 27. Pope Francis underscored that the Church cannot remain inactive in the face of the questions posed by today's men and women, the challenges of our times, the urgency of evangelization, and the many wounds afflicting humanity. Brothers and sisters, not a sedentary Church, but a Church that stands. Not a silent Church, but a Church that embraces the cries of humanity. Not a blind Church, but a Church enlightened by Christ, that brings the light of the gospel to others. Not a static church, but a missionary church that walks with the Lord through the streets of the world," he added. In his homily, Pope Francis reflected on the gospel passage from Mark where Jesus heals a blind man named Bartimaeus. He said, the blind Bartimaeus represents the inner blindness that holds us back, keeps us stagnant, blocks our life's dynamism, and destroys our hope. So many things along the way can blind us, making us unable to perceive the Lord's presence, or to face the challenges of reality, sometimes unable to provide adequate answers to the many who cry out to us," the Pope said. A sedentary church that inadvertently withdraws from life and limits itself to the fringes of reality risks remaining blind and becoming comfortable with its own discomfort. If we stay trapped in our blindness, we will continually fail to grasp the urgency of giving a pastoral response to the many problems of our world," he added. Wearing green vestments for the 30th Sunday in ordinary time, Pope Francis delivered his homily slowly, often pausing to speak spontaneously. He described the image of a synodal church as one where the Lord calls us, lifts us up when we are sitting or fallen restores our sight so we can perceive the anxieties and sufferings of the world in the light of the gospel. Let us remember never to walk alone or according to worldly criteria, he added, but instead to follow Jesus along the way. Admiring Bernini's majestic baldachin, more sublime than ever, we can rediscover that it frames the true focal point of the entire basilica, which is the glory of the Holy Spirit, said the Pope. This is the Synodal Church a community whose primacy lies in the gift of the Spirit, who makes us brothers and sisters in Christ and elevates us to Him. At the end of the Mass, Pope Francis, from his wheelchair, led the faithful in venerating a relic of St. Peter's chair, a wooden throne symbolizing papal primacy. This relic is expected to remain on display for public veneration at St. Peter's Basilica until December 8. Today, as we give thanks to the Lord for the journey we have traveled together, we can view and venerate the ancient, carefully restored relic of St. Peter's chair," Pope Francis remarked. As we contemplate it with the wonder of faith, let us remember that this is the chair of love, the chair of unity, and the chair of mercy," Pope Francis said.